know that tournament. 2009? Sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> the year after Brawl was released. I think it was 2010, honestly. But here we go. Kalos Pokemon yeah. League winners finals. King Ark fighting off against Venia. And I cannot stress enough the come up for King Ark in these past couple tournaments has been placing top four, top eight, and yet, and last week, he won. Now, the difference is, last week, Venia was not present. No, he was. Oh, he no, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, King oh. Ark beat him in the winner's finals. Oh, you're right. A very similar situation. I missed that. I actually missed that. So this is the run back. This is the run back. Okay. Um, now, something I've been talking with Venia, particularly about this game, and this was last week that he mentioned this to me, is that he, in Smash 4, knew everything he had to do versus zoners. And now it feels like it's a, a lot of it's a guessing game for him. He doesn't know exactly what he has to do versus owners in this game. I think we've seen that with players like Sinji and King Ark having a lot more success versus him than they would in Smash 4. Mm. Um, so I want to see what uh, adaptations Venny has made since last week, what you know uh, advancements he's made um, in you know this matchup in particular. This could have been an inevitable matchup that Venia would naturally have to see from yes. last week. Ooh, so hopefully he took some notes. Already got the deep fair out there, got the first stock away from King Ark. So already adding something to the table. Yeah, Mega Man, again, while his recovery is really solid, he does have a, a lot of mix up. It's kind of a similar ballpark to Rob. It's a little bit faster than uh, Rob's recovery, but you don't have a hitbox still on nearly the majority of it. So unless Mega Man is defending himself with a, a Crasher Bomb or an up air, he's kind of, you know, exploitable. Okay, we're chilling center stage here. King Ark looking for this uh, opening. The thing is, Venny is not really giving him any room to breathe. He's trying to rush him down as much as possible so he doesn't Ooh. get anything set up, but he's gonna go for the edge guard. I didn't even see what that move was. Pretty sure that was down, down air? air? A sour yeah, spot, sour down spot air? does yeah. send pretty far out, and uh, that'll take it for King Ark. 49% isn't too bad. This character is really good at damage racking, so. Mm. Ooh, I love it. At least you have an alleged really tough to deal with. Venny is doing a really solid job, though. Aid up on block, and it's absolutely. Dashes in afterward to get it. Yeah, I gotta avoid them leaves. Yeah, that move is super good. Dash back up air. Great nice. combo starter. Sets him up. Tried to follow him up with a shadow sneak, but King Ark, honestly. Oh, yeah. Free mm. grab. Yeah, I don't think that was intentional. My man was stuck. Yeah. Again, Mega Man, you don't have a hitbox, so then he can just react there. Mm. <laughs> that, what a he, he was like trying to get My man was get a away. ninja down <laughs> there, dude. He was hanging with the Ninja Turtles in the sewers. My yeah. man's like, I can't reach you. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. right, here we Drive go. Down. Nice. Doesn't quit. So uh, while Greninja, obviously, because of the change in mechanics to footstools, he doesn't really have footstool confirms anymore. His tech chase out of uh, drag down up air is insane in this game. Yeah, see, because you can, you can jab in place and then just yep. react and dash attack. Yeah, as you said, dude, I saw him drag him down into that tech. Venny is the king of doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, 104%. Honestly, one neutral air, one dash attack, one down tilt away from being sent flying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That was great DI coming from King Ark, avoiding that follow-up. And I'm loving the adaptation of the change that Venny has made since last week in that he isn't afraid to challenge Leaf Shield anymore. He's He knows that he can clank with that move. Ooh, Sour Spot. Follow-up. Nice. Gets the trump, gets the back here, but it's a little bit too late. My man's sitting at 111%. Again, Benny just still needs the same stuff. But down Leaf? tilt, maybe a call out. Can you get this shield? ledge option? No. Okay, uh, King Ark is becoming more aware that Leaf Shield off the ledge hasn't been as consistent as an option as it has been for him for the majority. Yeah, and also you don't want to get predictable with it. Yeah, no. Yeah, that, that move, a lot of times it feels like a command grab, and like, I was like, oh, I'm just in block. And like, I can't get out. I'm like, now I'm going to get hit for something afterward. Venny is smart right there, waits for the hits to hit him, and then dashes away. Something so I really want to point out is that King Ark has been on point with this DI. Like, every single time you air. see him laying yeah. that dash attack, it doesn't matter. Gonna get the back air, get that kill. Yeah, uh, again, Mega Man, uh, while he does have a lot of mix ups, there are certain situations where you are very limited. He's over there, he's without a jump. He now either has just Uppy or Erajin. Venia obviously usually will go for an aggro option there. Very patient by Venia, waits for him to press a button, then punishes accordingly. So we're going to go to Smashville instead. Once a little more intimate stage. Yeah. We'll also have that platform what in the middle. I, I get why Kalos was a pretty okay stage for Mega Man. Yeah. You saw him abusing those platforms every single time he jumped off the ledge as like a, like another option to get back to the stage. I like how Venia just bans Lila and Yoshi's Brawl because he's like, I am not dealing with slants. I am not dealing with slants. Yeah, Greninja is... Uh, yeah, because head bonks and the ledges on those stages are not good, so I don't blame him at all. Yeah. Good... Uh, Banning by Venia. Oh, okay. That Venia. looked like an accident. Yeah. But we, we, we live in. Yeah. We're sweating a bit, but we're living. And But Venia has been having a really soft slide. He goes deep and he gets back. And he's. The I love the high recovery there by Venia. Putting himself in a position to get stage control again. 
is absolutely fantastic. Okay, wanted to get the confirm off the buzzsaw, the metal blade. And he goes deep. King Ward takes control. Nice. I mean, Gleave Shield was a pretty okay op option to go for. You see him go for the left shield. I, I, I always hesitate there because because back in Smash 4, you die. Yeah, yeah, but now you can double jump out of it. And, and the survive. thing is, Venia would do stuff like that. So yeah. it's like, oh, he's going to kill himself here. But like now it doesn't kill him anymore. It's like Game & Watch. So, so now he does it even more. Yeah. Granted, he hasn't done it this set yet. Yeah, that was the first time this set that he's done it. Oh, looking for jab. That is one of those things. Greninja, similar to Smash 4, is still kind of weak out of block. Uh, so King Ark does have a solid amount of pressure that he can do, you know, because up he had a shield isn't an option for Greninja. Uh, up smash is pretty weak in terms of his frame data. Ooh, good nice. wait from Venia. He's re recognizing that after he uses all of his resources, the up and then the double jump, he had no choice but to get smacked by that up back air or go for an air dodge. It was a 50-50 at that point. Nice. And I'm loving the, the, the way that Venia is jumping in at King Ark. Oh, get anti-aired. But it doesn't matter how small that magnifying glass gets, it's not, it will not break. My man's still living 103%. Dash back, looking for follow-up, gets that chase. Oh, actually, I, oh, it actually didn't work out. Was that according to plan? Was that all according to Keiku? Uh, was that what that was? I thought it was according to plan for King Ark, because he was like, oh, I, I I'm, I'm going to get, get slide off, and I'm going to end off, and I'm going to be fine. But now he's looking and at he was still in last. He's in a terrible spot now, because yeah. this, remember, this is the best two of three sets, so if Vinny takes one more stock, he's moving on Down to air. grand finals. Yeah. Yeah, he was, I mean, when you got three stocks, why not go yeah. for it? Drags oh, him again, puts him in a terrible died. spot, King Ark, no! He died! The, Vinny, like, cheesed him twice. Not on, not even on purpose, I don't think. But he just cheesed him twice. I feel like this. Yeah, the, the uh, drag down there is, I think, on purpose. But I, the reaction yeah, wasn't yeah. the reaction wasn't there from King Ark, in that he was like, "Oh, I got dragged down. I was mashing up there." You don't want to see that happen. No, you know, that was well, dead word for word verbatim. Uh, okay, yeah. So we are seeing this matchup again. Rob Palatina, although admittedly, uh, Ray has been staying more true to the character than Jen as of late. So I, I do expect his Palatina to be a little bit more in practice. Nice up throw fair, twenty-two percent, very solid by Jill. Yeah, Dill Dil may have the matchup knowledge because he just defeated a power, like you said, but this is a completely different yes. one. I mean, the thing is, that people can play the same character, but have completely different play styles. Yes, and uh, one thing that you're going to be seeing a huge difference in is that Utopian Ray is not afraid to play the lame game, against, especially against a character like Rob. He will sit back, he'll throw his expl explosive flames out, he'll throw auto reticle out. That's something that Jen, you don't really see him clicking too often, he'll click auto reticle on occasion. Uh, Nice. I like that confirm a lot. Just barely missed out on that percentage, though. Yeah, Ray recognizing that he can't get up too high to get the follow up, so the option just go for the auto reticle instead. Always a solid option. I mean, auto reticle, pretty safe from that distance. Might as well just throw it out. Ooh, the, so that's one of those things that you kind of have to. It's one of those patch up now, match experience things. Uh, Explosive Flame always sends in the direction that Palatine is facing, regardless of what side of it you're on. So you always have to DI away from her. Dill almost died there, and he's going to end up losing that stock because he got taken out of stage control. And um, yeah, Ray's going to take that stock. And that is something that is hard to come back and lead against Palatina, because she can get a whole lot of damage early on. 33. This is exactly how the last set uh, happened with Dill, though. Like, he took, he took, lost the first yeah, stock and won. brought it back. But Ray's doing a good job of just holding on to this first stock. 105%, keeping him against this ledge, trying to catch. Dill re grabbed the ledge at least three times, making himself completely yeah. vulnerable. And Ray just couldn't find an opening to get in there and just. Yeah. Throw out an attack move. Dill had so many options covered. Yeah, challenging Rob at ledge is definitely really spooky. Um, just because... I mean, his up at his, disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, but his, but his up air is huge. So, like, getting past that or getting trying to hit him for that is scary. And Dill, with stage control, catches uh, Ray rolling in. Going to get a back air. Take the stock. Ooh. There we go. Got the gyro out there. Trying to form a wall a little bit, preventing Ray from being able to approach. He doesn't really have to, though. Got some projectiles to work with. Another parry coming from Ray. Not going to be able to get too much off uh, of it. Ooh, that put him on the platform, too. That puts him in a much better position. Because the higher you are off stage, the more time Rob is going to have to set up a potential ledge trap. One of Dill's more favorite options to do yeah. when he's below a platform, you know. Just go for that up throw. Nice. Detail. Fair. I love it. Nice. Dude, fantastic counter coming from Ray. Because Dill was trying to call him out for falling right in front of him, which is like a, a pretty common habit for a lot of players. But if you come in with a counter instead, you know, yeah, man, that's maybe one of those adaptations. Yeah, see, that's, again, he ended up on the side, on the other side of the explosive flame and DI'd in, expecting to have to go the other way. Uh, it's 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 kind of difficult for Rob to find his way back onto the stage when explosive flame is a factor. Like I said, yeah. he commits to the up B, no longer has his air dodge. Yeah, so 
one of those things that Ray, I'm sure, is going to take advantage of and noticing. Palutena is, I think, are pretty aware of, you know, when they use Explosive Flame, whether they, someone knows how to DI it or not, because it kills a lot earlier if you don't, don't know how to DI that move. Okay, more and more Explosive Flames coming into action. Ray sits at 129% on two stocks. Yeah, 90% of go, the Just go for the arm order. Oh. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. Look, it's, it's, it's a wild world we live in when that is a good move, considering how awful it was in 4. And you're still taking full advantage. He knows he's going to catch a landing or two. He's going to space it out like you would an F-Smash to catching a landing, and he's going to get stocks from it. You're going to jump above the Explosive Flame, forcing Rob to uh, come into his up. double oh. jump. I love the recovery okay. from Dill, and avoiding I'm, the spike. And I'm, yeah, Ray, obviously, a high recovery there was absolutely what he needed. Recovering to ledge would have been incredibly spooky. Ooh, okay, does one approach, goes for a safe Nera instead. <gasps> Gets oh, the confirm off of the please. gyro, looking for that forward smash. Not a, that probably wouldn't have killed, but it would have put him in a yeah. terrible spot. Would have been darn close. Oh, he tried to murder him. Oh, Good look night. out. Good night, you should die. All right, I like that mix-up actually a lot. Never mind. Okay, Rage is going to play super safe with these back airs, applying pressure to the shield. Gets in front of him by accident. Gets a berry. Get, okay. Try to go for the follow-up air dodge immediately coming from Ray. Yeah, I think Dill is actually pretty aware of those percents because we saw just a little bit later percentage than that in the set against Ray. He was going for up tilt. Um, but because uh, he knows that at 75, Ray can mash, he's going to get out. Tries to go for a straight out there. Uh, Gyro is looking for a follow-up afterwards. Delays the warp until the last second to avoid ah, a potential stop. spike. Another explosive flame going to solidify game number one into Ray's favor. Yeah, and after a huge comeback by Dill that basically put Ray into death percent, we saw Ray, you know, Paladin's disadvantage is really tricky because because he has two projectiles that are super solid to hit literally from half the stage away. You have to be reactive and be looking at her the entire time because you can react to Explosive Flame, but if you're in dash, if you're in block, you really can't. Yeah, there's so. a lot of committal options in this game. Mm -hmm. so. Again, and dash especially, which I think is what uh, Jill got caught in was a dash, and he ended up losing his stock for it. And we're going to be seeing... I can't tell the stage because Dill didn't want to press the screen. All oh, good. Dill. We're going back to PS2. PS2. I mean, honestly, a pretty good stage for yeah. Rob. It also benefits Palu, but because they both like the, the platforms are put in really yeah. good positions for both characters. But I think up throw on the platforms is pretty huge for Rob, as well as down throw as a mix up. Oh, this is PS1, by the way. It, no, no, it's not. The heck? It's not? No. PS1's a lot darker, Austy. Oh, you're right. There's also a giant CRT in the back. Honestly. Yeah. That's a oh, you're screen. right. I forgot about that. The yeah. heck? Out of here. My, I, I, I'm stuck. I in mean, PS1 is the, the better past. is the better stage. I'm stuck in the past. We should we should do PS1 instead, but this is definitely PS2. Agreed. Uh, Nair. All right. Again, Rob, because he has a lot of mix-ups, is gonna be able to get back on the stage. Jill taking full advantage. Whole lot of percent onto Ray. Nice. I love the shield pressure. Looking for a landing. No jump. Oh, wow. He wanted to go for that up smash. And again, that is a lot stronger at the base than it is at the top. So, uh, Ray taking full event. Double spot dodge. I ended up still getting a punish. Wait. Sorry. This is so off topic. I think this is PS... PS2 didn't used to show the camera in the background. Yeah, but now it does. That, the, that, that, that got patched. That got patched. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. That's why I was confused. Yeah. I, I was like thinking that the oh, whole time. Okay. Get hecked on. That makes way Back more here. sense. What a good patch. Yeah. That's, a, that's an update that I approve of. Yeah. Okay. Double there. Fair. 36. Don't. Yeah. So the thing is in this game, um, I was talking with this about Devin and um, with uh, Mike earlier, is that if you get spiked, as soon as you get put into the camera, you die. Which is why uh, suicide spikes will kill you first. It will uh, kill you first instead of the person that went for the suicide. Yup. And um, Dill, Rob there is strong enough that it may be able to get killed at zero because of uh, th that, that property. So that'd be a scary situation, being that Pal Palutena's recovery is pretty susceptible to two frames. Up tilt, looking for a follow-up. Dill has been very uh, good at being aware of when up tilt sour spots and how he should be following up after that. They're trying to catch this up, smash, gets the parry yeah, into right immediate block. downer. Racking up tons of damage off of that blaster, but hold on, seeing at 141, has him off stage again. All this nice. stage control and Ray's favor still living. My oh, man, DIing like a god. Get back on the stage. Oh. Yeah, I think, again, Ray is being pretty conservative here. He sees that that uh, Dill grabbed the ledge. That was a missed DI, too. Uh, I think Dill's going to be aware of that. Maybe try and go for a similar setup again. Down throw. Nice. The immediate air dodge down was beautiful. Almost kills Dill for it. And he pulls up on Cash's landing. And again, catching Dill, pushing buttons. You saw him trying to shoot a blaster, but that puts Ray into an easy setup. 
for the explosive flame. This man was mashing on block and uh, did not respect it, did Ray. Okay, and trying to play safe with these back airs. Extremely safe on shield move. Blast from the ledge, 53%, 62 is already great extra credit, but we did see a similar situation last game. We got a full 90, and Dill almost brought it back. So, I love that. So, Rob down to that so little end lag that he was able to punish spot dodge immediately afterward. Oh, lots of defensive options getting thrown out. Shield poke? No. Oh, oh miss input. That's a, such a heartbreaker. Yeah, the miss turn on there is pretty big. Nice. Get up attack says denying the uh, Rob Broder it's, uh, lim uh, lingering hitbox. Yeah. Dill's been dashing in there a lot, and Ray is well aware. He's like, I'm going to keep clicking explosive flame. Fair. Almost enough. Still gyro. Protects himself from getting to the ledge. Dash stock. Yeah, this is a lot more extra than I saw last time, and we're not even going to have to see that second stock yet. Ray is going to take it over Dill, 2-0, two, two and we're going to be seeing a winner's run back, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, so no, uh, I, yeah, lied. The, it, I, I was thinking that too, but honestly, uh, Ray lost to Venia in winner's side, yeah. so he's trying to get the run back against Venia, but he yeah. has to go through King Arc first in loser's finals, and honestly, right. Ray was getting a lot of mileage out of just that shield alone. You see, he lands the dash tag, he lands yeah. the back airs, that shield's strong, dude. Invincible moves, It's in pretty darn good. It's invincible. That is amazing. I was like um, patch 1.13 or something like that. 1.0.5, I think, was post patch Diddy Kong. Because it's the first one after Wii U came out. Oh, oh, well, zero five. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so like Wii U, and then they did patch Diddy Kong, so it's 1.0.5. All right, let's jump into this game here. Losers finals, best two of three set. Oh, get to the floor, get to the floor. That's the camera mechanic I just talked about, and he exploded. Yes. The, the set just started. Yeah. Okay. 10 seconds in, baby. I like it. I dig it, Ray. I see I am, you, Ray. I am all for the 10-second explosions. Let's go, Ray. He wants to do it again. Look at him. He's like, I'm going to hit Fading you again. For so as I was saying, this is uh, game two of the, of the second. It might as well be. My man, yeah. Ray, just opened up hard on Ray. Yeah, that is, I mean, that is a statement and a half, and he is already getting a lap in percentage. Although, again, as I mentioned earlier, Mega Man, if he is good at one thing, it is racking the damage and keeping you at a distance. And if King can do that consistently for a full stock, and you're not take, not take too much damage, if he can stay around like 70 this stock, he's not in too bad of a position. A right, good catch and that jump out of shield. Fair. Okay, it goes for the upper. So you see where are you going for these warps, trying to cancel them on those platforms. Good call out from King Ark. Oh, I love it. Again, but that is a lot less unlike in this game than it did in 4. Mm -hmm. So... Not in time. You really have to do that preemptively. You can't do it on reaction in this game. Yeah, I mean, and, and also, he didn't even go for the platform cancel. It still yeah. doesn't have that much. 123%. Where is he going to go? Trying to get back on that stage. Kinar trying to get all these options covered with the forward smash and the no back jump. air. Okay, it doesn't end up getting punished for it. Yeah, get that oh. mine off you. Nice. I, I, that I respect great. that option. Go for the grab because you get some invincible. <gasps> Did he? That no, was there's no Mensa. way. He ran that up. was so Mensa. <laughs> he crouched to make him get stuck <laughs> with the Crasher Bomb. That's, that was 3,000 IQ. That was House funny. 3, IQ. Honestly, that, that, was, that was pretty funny. Just going to go for the simple back throw. Just toss my mans into the blast zone. I'm Three so stocks to one. I'm so glad he got rewarded for that. Yes. Like, if you took like, a screenshot of that moment, you could, t you could definitely <laughs> tell that she was smirking as she was crashing. Yeah. Ooh. 134% gonna avoid that spike from the down air. Here we go. The neutral air train begins. And this is already 37%. 49. That's a deficit and a half, if I can say so myself. Yeah. Th th this game's game, over. Game th two, there's game no. Two, game two, baby. You just bring on games. There's just, no just, way. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna SD. Oh, well. All right. Get the stock. Now run off. It's still looking pretty bleak for King yeah. Ark. He's at 121%. F avoids throw. the explosion. So, like, the initial grab didn't transfer the crash bomb, but the F throw extending her hurtbox forward ended up doing so. So, it's a good choice by Ray. And Ray's trying to pop up King Ark with these down tilts, trying to get that follow up, the conversion yeah. afterwards. Up air bear, and we're going to actually see a bear right there. No follow up needed. That is a good enough move on its own. The thing is. Venia, not Venia, I'm sorry. Uh, this Utopian Ray was playing out of his mind when he's fighting against Venia in Winter Semis. Yeah. So he's carrying that energy into these sets, taking out Dill, looking to be on course to taking out King Ark. Maybe he can carry that energy once he goes into Grand Finals and try to yeah. reset the bracket. But I don't want to I don't want to sleep on King Ark just yet, man. Like, yeah. He could easily adapt in this game number two. He's got to change up the game plan just a little bit. I feel like he let Ray kind of steamroll in the beginning of that first game. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of an unfortunate situation, as I mentioned. Mega Man limited off the stage, and Ray was like, yeah, he is, and I'm going to kill him for it. 
Um, I love this counter pick. I think Mega Man's great on Triplats in general. Um, and the slants, I can only imagine uh, just being on Triple Fur. Oh, and he counter picked the stage last week as well during Grand. So. Yeah. Another important thing for Mega Man on the stage is the fact that they have solid walls yeah. off stage. It allows them to get really easy down air spikes yeah. as well as you know throw the metal plate against the wall. And a mix up as well. Mm, wall with, jumps. Uh, wall jumps. So that yes, is sir. huge for Mega Man. That's why Mega Man very often will counter pick to a Kalos or a uh, Yoshi Story. However, a much more solid start, I would say, for King Arc. You know, not dying at 30 in the beginning of the game is pretty solid. Um, but however, Ray is still showing his prowess on offense and almost taking a stock right there with a potential uh, fair. Oh? He tries to go for the Trump, had a back air waiting for him. Good reaction from Ray. Ooh, I was looking for back air there. However, Metal Blade sent him the direction that I don't think Ray was anticipating. Yeah. And, uh, Honestly. back in. Uh, oh, he tried to murder him. He tried. He got murdered for it, but I like yeah. the attempt. He got sent to heaven. Ooh. We got the forward tilt coming from Ray. Good stage presence coming from Ray, not allowing King Arc any sort of uh, retail mm -hmm. stay. Oh, but wait a sec. Off stage, 94%. Looking for back air. Yeah, catches the jump. King Arc is so good. One thing I noticed, he is so good at calling out the mix up when you jump and just backing it on reaction. I think his reaction time must be like insane for how consistently he does that. Yeah, Ooh, and it's off. He's that. trying to push stool and kill him. Mm. Looking pretty bleak. He goes for the forward air instead. That move is going to kill him this game compared yeah. to the last one. It is so. a huge buff. Gotta look out for that sword that is on flames. Ooh. That's an air. That's a fair. And uh, nice. Good spacing from King Arc, avoiding the down tilt. That destroying hitbox goes pretty far, especially on the slant of Yoshi's mm -hmm. story. And there uh, was no respect needed by Ray. Ooh, I was looking for a raw fair, but he doesn't get crash bomb stuck to him. And he's going to get. Uh, Back to stage because of that. He went for the trade. You know, he yeah. traded the auto reticle for the explosion. Honestly, when you have a lead, why not? Yeah, you know, you, again, one of the oldest rules in Smash is if you have a lead, do not be afraid to trade. Because why would you? You're in the lead. You, trades are always in your favor. Okay, good DI for Bray. Gonna avoid that follow up from King Arc. That's a lot of damage. Gets the he up air train going. Well. He went super high for that back air. Fair, that's gonna be enough. Just catch him with the shield on that platform. Oh, he was like, you better not hold back any longer. You're exploding. Now King Ark, your first place finisher last week on the cusp of getting third at the hands of Utopian Ray. Can he pull this back? Metal Blade's a good start. Pressure on block. Looks for a roll. Doesn't get it. And that's a lot of damage. Yeah, meaty punish. And that damage is starting to get higher and higher. King Ark's guy close out the stock. Oh, great tech, tech coming oh, out from okay. Ray. Not able to survive. Looks like that was a missed input yeah, after the tech. Buffer the, uh, the, uh, Air dodge afterward because yeah. you know, trying to you know mash air dodge in that situation to take the stage, and unfortunately cost him a stock. However, seventy percent is nothing to scoff at in terms of a lead. And uh, Ray, we know how well he plays with the lead, and we're gonna see if he can continue that consistency here. He's got him at ninety-three percent. Oh, down doesn't end up actually getting anything off of it. Playing a lot of pressure with this back air. I like the attempt there. I'm trying to mix up the block with the uh, double jump near the floor. Back is almost enough. He's got him off stage. Charging up, sma up smash for a hot second. 118%. Oh, accidental Tech foot stool? Back in. Oh, we take those, I guess. 132. Yeah. Up smash again. You see King Arc actually anticipating those this time around. Yeah, keep in mind, though, Metal Blade on the floor in two up tilt is a true confirm. Very. Close to Ray now. is hungry for these up smashes. Gets the leaf shield. A lot of damage. Gonna survive that dash. That great DI avoids the explosive flame. Trying to get back onto the stage. He gives up stage control to go off stage against him with that neutral air. Yeah, and the knockback growth on back air is huge. So not back air at the ledge for Mega Man may very well just take a stock. But the invincibility comes in the clutch for Ray. Eats up the metal blade, and King Arc will be out of the tournament at third. Gonna place. use that shield offensively and defensively. Says get away from me. Yeah, I mean, he went right through the metal blade, got the kill, and, and you know, your boy's gonna move on to Grand Finals. Utopian Ray gonna get, try to get this uh, run back against Venia, losing the first set, but now it's turned into a best two or three sets. Grand Finals, Palutena versus Greninja. Uh, we've seen Jen have success in this earlier. Yeah. Not Jen. Uh, Venia have success in this earlier. And we're gonna see if he can continue that. Yeah. And I think uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, I think, was the uh, stage for all three games, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Yeah, so let's jump into this Grand Finals, man. My name's Ossie. I'm joined here by Munel. Let's jump into Venia versus Utopian Ray. And again, if we can see how consistently Venia has played neutral today. We saw he lost last week 
two. King of oh, says get to the floor. Not enough just yet. Kind of a repeat from Winter Semis. You saw him immediately go for that down air off stage. A little bit too high in the air for them to actually connect with the blast zone. Again, and I feel like this has been a common trend amongst characters that Reyes had to fight. They're characters without hitboxes on their recovery, but they have crazy mix-ups. So one right guess is an end of a stock, but if they get around you, now they have stage control in your path in that ledge. And you're limited, so. Okay, man, trying to get this follow-up after the dash attack. Down to that's enough! I mean, it is, what that angle is was a that? long lasting hitbox out of the down tilt, catches the normal getup, has a lot of knockback on top of it, managed wow. to connect that first stock kill away from Venia. Ray taking away this lead. Now remember, keep in mind, this is the best two of three set, and Ray has to win two sets in yes. order to take home the tournament, because he's coming from loser's side. Oh, deep. Oh, Trying to go for the is, so, is so good at that. The intentional um, up off the stage, force them to a situation where they have to recover high, and then a punish, just barely missing it there. Again, the mechanics between running two, through people, very different. He's probably very used to that with Greninja. In that situation, he wasn't able to get a stock for it. Ray sitting at 160%. Venia looking to try to close this out, waiting for the option. Uh, kind of an unorthodox uh, choice from Ray. You're going for the ledge attack, just kind of push Venia away. Throwing out these explosive flames to just prevent Venia from being able to rush oh. him down. Finally finds a oh, way right. in, goes for the fourth throw as a mix up for the DI. Ray barely avoiding, yeah. avoiding death. That throws a kill throw now, yeah. That's, I completely forgot. That move set nowhere in four. Because, like, normally you'll see Greninja go for up throw, because that's like yeah, the kill move you want to go for. But it's a good DI mix that I think it was, he was trying yeah. to do against Ray. So now we're going here, two stocks apiece, 85 damage on Venia. Ooh, back Great to, oh, pivot wow. grab. That, that throw throws me off. Sneaky. The, the throw so early. The throw threw you off. I got you. Yeah. Okay, oh. another pivot grab coming from Venia doing the exact same thing to him. Now it's his turn to turn That's on. Pressure. Turn up the pressure. 49 damage. Get up attack. Again, that is one of those things. Get up attack, as unorthodox as it is sometimes from Palutena, because her get up attack is pretty mediocre. Yeah, it's, it's legitimate in this game. Yeah. He just died. Yep. He was at that My move man. is insane. He exploded. You got to look out for it. Now we got Utopian Ray. 67 Yikes. damage. Trying to get back onto the stage. Yikes. He exploded. More neutral airs. Now, honestly, Palutena's got a lot going for her, right? You got these neutral airs, up airs, back airs, all her really game good. Is insane. No, yeah. yeah. She is probably the most consistent aerial kit in the game. Which is kind of a detriment to Greninja and Venia yeah. as well, because Venia loves jumping. Yeah. I mean, that's what Greninja oh, wants. Greninja yeah. wants to be airborne as much as possible. And the thing is, Greninja is already limited in the air. You, a lot of his moves are just flat out slow. They're good aerials, but they're a lot of them very slow. You can't really air to air Palu, whose moves are already slow, but because they're so good, it's kind of, you know, a detriment to Greninja. Ooh. Trying to get that down to 129%. Trying to back up again, throwing out the explosive flame just in case Venia wants to get aggressive. But also, he has a stock lead. Might as well go for the projectile war. Not too much Venia can do to try to challenge that. Yeah, and Ray has been approaching a lot with one block. So uh, using uh, Shuriken to check him there is super solid. Forces him to stay at a certain distance that, you know, uh, Venia like, will like to move around. Couldn't get Dare out of uh, power right there. Very close. Greninja's hitbox is very low to the ground. Or her box rather, very low to the ground. So. Okay, gets the dash attack. Great air dodge coming from Utopian Ray, avoiding that follow up from Venny as he's going to try to get back onto the stage as safe as possible. Goes for a Hail Mary up smashing just in case Venny wanted to get in there. Venny gets the grab, oh, gets a forward throw. That's the second time we've seen that throw kill. See if we can try to get one more time, but he's sitting at already 83% damage, 96. Yeah, in a way, you almost don't want to be seeing forward throw kills from Greninja because it means he's killing like 170 every stock. Yeah. And um, Palu, or at least uh, Ray, has been killing him X. Fantastic early. play coming from Utopian Ray. You see him going for the trades, sets him up high in the air, throws out the explosive flame because he knew that Venia wanted to go for the fast fall, caught him in the explosion, and Utopian Ray is going to take away game number one. And that was honestly fairly dominant. It was a one stock, but it was, you know, he says, yeah, I'm, I know where you're landing, I know where you're going, and I'm going to kill you for it nearly every stock. Keep in mind that Winter Semi started the exact same way. It was a two stock, and then Venia... Venia's Greninja brought it back yeah. in game number two. Venia actually, I believe, three-stocked him or two-stocked him. Regardless, it was a yeah. clean win in game number two. So we could definitely see Venia try to turn up the heat. This time around, looks like we're going to Kalos Pokemon League. Yeah. If there's anything that Venia is good at, it is adapting. This man, once he understands what he has to do against you, he only really needs like one or two games, maybe not even, maybe more so one or two stocks, just to understand how he has to get around what you were doing to beat him the last time. But it's almost as if the adapted, the first adaption phase is over, because that happened in the first set, you know? Yeah. Like, he's already, he hasn't played anyone since that set, yeah. I maybe mean, besides King Ark. 
Right, but again, this might be multiple levels that yeah. we're going on here. I mean, honestly, that, that's a competitive yeah. game. Honestly, it's just yeah. a dazzy. That, it wouldn't be interesting. Here we go. <laughs> Tash is in. We're seeing it now. Benny has been doing a really solid job. Oh, yeah, those platforms are pretty high. Yeah, yeah not going to be able to connect that up smash. I mean, it is his counter pick, so. Yeah. Um, that is one of those things with Greninja Up Smash in general. A lot of times it'll just drop on platforms, even if they're lower than that, or just completely whiff. There are certain stages, though, where uh, Greninja Up Smash just hits straight through the platform. Venya could have been guessing if Ray was going to fall down below the platform. He's going to wait for that Up Smash. The thing is, that lasts three seconds, so you're going to be hanging yeah. on to that wall for some time. Hope your arms don't get tired. Yeah, Greninja, he's a ninja. He's got he's to be hanging on there for a while. He knows what he's doing. F throw? No, down throw mix-up. I like it. Knowing he's going to DI in. Oh, he whiffed the grab. Jeez. Great DI coming from Venya, able to survive. Uh, no, okay. Forward yeah. throw, not going to be able to get the kill just yet, but you see Venya chasing off after him. Gives up stage control in the process, and they both just keep coming so close to the blast zone every single yeah. time. But no one's colliding with it just yet. Stare out of shield, super solid option by Ray. Again? Oh. Venya back on stage. That next hit nearly will be guaranteed to take the stock. Up throw? There we That's go. That's not the right DI. Uh, yeah, that that. back. I, I feel the, yeah, year yeah. Is, the year he is threw, 2019. He threw the up throw. He got the kill. Let's move into stock number two. Ray very close to trying to take away this first stock from Vinny at 142%. Goes for the trade. Has him off stage. Gives him some stage control to work with. Ooh, now this is a nice amount of damage by Vinny. 41%. Greninja is so good at keeping you at that uh, percentage range. He just consistently it confirms di in forward throw never really kills always be in that out but ray is going to cast that landing super well with the up air and take the stock that was just a solid flow of events coming from ray so i'm going for the grab re-grab connects the up air as many tries to di away and now the nair train's beginning ah, take 41 all 43 my 43 bad. damage off of three neutral airs and a forward error and some change okay running in trying yeah. to cl you know close the distance as fast as possible now this has been, you know, a solid start from Vinny on the stock, and we've seen once again uh, the back and forth between these two players. You know, Vinny dashes in. Now, Jen now, uh, rather, uh, Utopian Ray starting to dash back. Oh my word! He just exploded. Yeah, you saw Utopian Ray just land right in front of him on that platform. Had the down smash ready to go from Da Venia. He got the kill. Now Venia stealing the lead away from him. Chilling backwards, doesn't want to get too antsy. He's trying to space out with these forward airs. Dash attack is going to lead into this combo star. He's very hungry for the dash attacks. Yeah, Ray's going to have to respect it. The occasional shuriken's been really good. He's saying, you're going to stay in the corner. And if you jump, I'm going to call it out. He tried to murder him. It, it feels like that Ray can't push a button. No, right. He, out of block, he hasn't been able to push anything. It feels like, ooh. Trying to catch the Hydro Pump with the up smash again. But no dies. Goes for the trade. Wow. Gets the nod. Does not get the kill. Still living at 108%. The game has lied to us all. I'm actually... Okay, oh, there you go. I, I, Call, calls out counter. I respect that, though. I, I respect the counter because Ray doesn't really go for that too often. So might as well no. just try it in this, like, last-ditch effort. But it's not going to work. And Greninja from Venia is going to take away game number two in a potential final game. If Ray takes this game, we play one more set. If Venia takes it, that's the end of the tournament. With Venia going tournament. home with first place. And Venia actually won the uh, gauntlet last night over at in Brooklyn. Yes, my team spoke over Marshall and Bars the Journey. Yes, and then last week he got third. So this is definitely he's he's on that first place train. Let's see if we can try to keep this up, or if Ray's gonna try to defuse it. Smashville. And I'm liking this pick from Ray. The aerial mobility from Greninja is limited outside of the up beam, so he's not gonna be able to abuse that platform very well. And even if he does try and drift in, you have the hitbox to challenge Greninja on landing. That's like through block. That is very fortunate. I think uh, Ray was kind of expecting it to be on the other side and maybe going for a uh, jump out of shield bear and no dice. Yeah, while you can't dash through people's shields in this game, you can definitely dash attack them with certain moves. Ooh, big fair from Venia. Looking for the deep uh, recovery from Vey. Doesn't end up giving it to him. Up air, one more. Not letting wow. him land. Tried to go for the all with that uh, shadow sneak. Shadow sneak. Almost got it. Trying to play some pressure with that forward air against the man's shield, 67%. Oh, almost got that fall with the forward smash. Now, Ooh. Benny is just setting him up constantly with these down tilts. Benny is calling him out. His timing is just barely off. Um, but again, once Benny gets, gets his, you know, himself he, in gear, he he'll buried be... the water. I I'm like sorry, that. that caught me off guard. No, yeah, it does have a, a, a damaging hitbox. Yeah, so you're right. It is... So it's, well, it's a win box, but still. Same deal. And, Ooh. Ooh, that was a low fair. That was a fair, right? Very, yeah, that was a little I, fair. Venya taking Man. away that stock one, regardless. Sitting at 93% damage. 
So you can try to play. You see it, Ray definitely fishing for these jabs. It will get a lot of damage off of it. Double back air, yeah. good escape from Ray. He had to go oh, for the double jump. Goes he for the lived. Now he's dead. Neutral air, not gonna be enough to get the kill, but he is at a double jump, so they're not the explosive flame just in case he fast fell. Did that just oh, dragged drag down? down? Yeah, multi hits in this game. Nearly all of them dragged down. Most of them, or a lot of them didn't have that property in four. It almost looked accidental, but I'm sure he yeah. did it on purpose. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Okay, explosive flame again. Oh, Hydro deep. pumps. Hydro pump is so good. Venya can recover from anywhere. He is fine. Back there? air That's off the enough. platform, and Ray's gonna take away that stock. Two stocks apiece. The nair pressure is so good. That is one of those things, the huge game changer. A lot of moves that weren't real platform pressure in four are just straight up real platform pressure now because I'm on the ground. I have less life than you are because you're in block forever in this game. Ooh. Seems just hitting with the down tilts again and again. Back air again, that little shield poke there, 91% damage. Oh, he's. I'm gonna hit this down tilt. Well, the thing is, of oh. course he wants the down tilt. Greninja gets a lot of damage yeah. off of down tilt. It can lead into and kills as well. Right now, it's, it's a stock. Yeah, right now, yeah. down tilt will confirm it to a stock. Very hungry for these back airs. Jutupin Ray playing patient off stage, waiting for the right opportune moment, but does not matter. It's not gonna find its not way. Enough. Down tilt into forward air, still living, even though we saw sparks flying. Kill this man. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> he is still alive. 147%. Uh, Four throw, not. Alive. My man sitting at 160%. Can he get back to the ledge? He had. No. Okay. He, I, he saw the Hydro Pump actually push him a little bit, so he wasn't able to get back onto the stage. Yeah. Ooh, up tilt. And then he has to be like, what are you doing? I'm punishing you really hard for that. This is tournament sock. Yeah. 43. And the way that Venny's been playing neutral, he hasn't been committal, but w when he gets you in the corner, he's like, yeah, you're not moving anymore. You're not no. allowed to. Your mobility is Dunskis. Huh? We go neutral uh -huh. air, forward air, get some off stage. Get this man. Tried to go for the shadow sneak in case Utopian Rain wanted to fast fall. Yeah. Now he's hungry oh, he's for dead. it, and Utopian he's Rain. Dead. Oh, never mind. It was all a trap to get Venny into disadvantage. That's all yeah. it was. State <laughs> control? Yeah. <laughs> Down tilt, trying to get the up smash. Great tech coming out from Ray. Going to be able to avoid that kill. That's okay. No, the here. angle there, not quite good for Venia. Maybe expecting a bounce in the other direction, and that is not going to hit. Punish that? This is one of the oh. stages where the platform. He tried to fall through the platform and go for the back air. Ended up going for the accidental forward tilt instead. Now, stuck. That's gets the stuck. shield poke. Gets the down tilt. Gets the forward air. Your boy Venia from Deadly Alliance taken home. Xeno 147. That man was mashing down tilt. He was like, I'm going to hit this. Like, right? It's always fun looking at his face as he now. does it. He's like, here comes, uh, 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 uh. Eventually, uh. it's going to get the shield poke. Even yeah, if you angle that shield This game shield down. pokes are wild. Well, uh, they, yo, you yeah, match. You know, he, he, you're like, hey, you're staying he there. He came in and you're just in did the this corner. over here. You're in the corner. You want, you're an, staying you want there. another interview? You want me to interview you again? All right. Who's you interviewing? Interview? Who's, me? Austin, you want to interview this man? Are I don't care. Are you tired of this man? I don't care. Well, guys, we're going to figure out who's going to interview him. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.